Hello, teacher. Are you busy? I need to ask you something. Please. Hello, John. Sure. My class will start in about ten minutes. How can I help you? Thank you. Well, you know I want to improve my English. I like English, and one of my teachers from a school told me I can improve my English by writing. I want to know if that's correct and how I can do it. I don't like writing much, but I will do everything possible to improve my English and speak it very well. Help me, please. I see. Of course, I can help you. This is a common question among English learners. I'm telling you this because learning writing skills is a whole new challenge. But of course, you can learn and improve your English if you improve your writing skills. What you have to know is that you don't need to be perfect the first time you write in English. When you write, don't feel that you need to have a flawless paper after your first draft. The important thing is to get your thoughts down on paper. That's all. Then the revision and editing come into play. When you take the pressure of perfection off of yourself, you can feel more confident in your writing practice. It really works. It's good to know that, because I have tried to write in English and I am not good at that. That's why I stopped doing it. But I will have to try again. I promise I will. Excellent. Do you know why writing is important? Because of vocabulary, writing motivates you to learn more and new vocabulary. It motivated me when I wanted to write a story in English, for example. I didn't know many words, so I had to look for those words in a dictionary or translator. I learned a lot that way. One of the best ways to improve your writing is to grow your English vocabulary. One way to start is to develop your knowledge of synonyms and antonyms. Don't forget it. I've heard about that. I mean, about synonyms and antonyms. Are they important? Of course, it is a great way to improve your vocabulary and your writing skills. By knowing alternative words for a term and their opposites, you'll have a greater range of options at hand. When learning to write in English. This helps you choose the right word each time. Just don't give in to the temptation to pick the biggest word by default. And what I mean is, simple and concise is better than complex and worthy. Remember that. Yes, teacher, I will remember it. And when do I have to write in English? I mean, what time should I do it? Because I have heard that the morning is the best time. Because you have a fresh mind and have new ideas, but I don't know. Is that true? Whether you are a night owl or a morning person, choosing to write when you are fresh and alert will help you to have more energy and more stamina. So it doesn't matter what time you write in English. Just practice writing at your best time of day, in the morning, afternoon, or evening. I prefer to write in the evenings. Because I don't have time in the morning or the afternoon. That's good. The important thing is to practice writing in English every day. When you begin writing in English, it may feel difficult or even like a chore. Many students of the English language think of it as homework and only practice their writing skills when assigned to do so. However, the best path to fluency is repetition. Believe me. It's important to practice writing in English every day. This doesn't have to take the form of a formal essay. Writing text messages, social media posts, and emails can also be helpful in growing your practical English writing skills. Now that you mention it, I don't like writing by hand. Can I write in English on my cell phone? Of course, and I'm happy you ask that. People now don't like to write by hand. Many students believe that writing by hand on a piece of paper is old-fashioned. You know, because of the new technology we have nowadays. So you can use your cell phone or your computer to write in English too. Sometimes it is better because you don't always have a notebook and a pencil with you. Am I right? That's right. I only carry my notebook when I go to classes. That's all. I suppose so. 
This is what I recommend to my students. Whenever you think of a new idea, story, or just want to express yourself at any time of the day, just take your cell phone and write what you feel or think. Whatever, even if it doesn't make sense. One of my students used to do that. He wrote a lot of sentences and phrases in English. Then he connected these phrases and words to create stories. That worked for him. Another student made this. He used to write 10 or 20 words in English. Any kind of words. They can be nouns, adjectives, verbs, prepositions, etc. And these words don't have to be related to each other. It doesn't matter. Then, he used to write a story with those words. For example, apples, circus, policeman, ball. A policeman officer went to a circus to buy a candy apple but he slipped on a ball. I know it doesn't make sense, but so what? The important thing is you practice your writing. Oh, I like that idea. It sounds like fun. Creating a weird story. It is. It is an activity I always recommend to my students. I can also recommend more activities to improve your writing or any other English skills. That would be amazing. Absolutely, Lisa. I'm glad you're excited about the idea. Creativity is a fantastic way to make the learning process enjoyable. Now let me share another interesting writing activity with you. How about creating a dialogue between two characters? It could be a casual conversation, an argument, or even a humorous exchange. This exercise helps you practice constructing sentences using proper punctuation, and understanding different tones in English. That sounds cool. I can make up characters and make them talk to each other in English? Exactly. It's a great way to practice natural language flow and understand how conversations unfold. You can experiment with different scenarios and emotions. Plus, it's a fun way to explore vocabulary and expressions. I like that idea. I'll give it a try tonight. Wonderful. And don't worry if it feels a bit challenging at first. The key is to enjoy the process and learn from it. Now let's talk about reading. Reading is another powerful tool to enhance your writing skills. When you read books, articles, or even short stories in English, pay attention to the language used, sentence structures, and the flow of ideas. It will influence your own writing positively. I do enjoy reading, but sometimes I find it hard to understand everything. That's completely normal, Lisa. Reading more regularly will gradually improve your comprehension skills. Start with materials that match your current proficiency level and gradually move on to more complex texts. You can also use online resources that provide explanations for difficult words or phrases. This way, you're not only improving your reading, but also expanding your vocabulary. Good advice. I'll try to read more in English. Excellent. And remember, the goal is progress, not perfection. Now let's touch on grammar. While it might seem daunting, Understanding basic grammar rules is crucial for effective writing. There are many online platforms and apps that offer interactive grammar lessons. They make learning grammar more engaging and less tedious. I've struggled with grammar rules. Do you think it's okay to use grammar checking tools? Absolutely. Grammar checking tools are valuable resources for self-editing. They help you identify and correct common mistakes, allowing you to learn from them. However, don't solely rely on these tools. Try to understand why a particular correction is made, and over time, you'll find yourself making fewer errors. That makes sense. I'll keep that in mind. Great. Now let's discuss the power of feedback. Sharing your writing with others, whether it's a teacher, a language exchange partner, or even friends, provides valuable insights. Constructive feedback 
helps you understand your strengths and areas for improvement. I've never thought about sharing my writing. It sounds a bit scary. It's natural to feel that way, but it's a crucial step in the learning process. Remember, the goal is to learn and grow. Start by sharing your writing with someone you trust, and gradually, you'll become more comfortable with receiving feedback. I'll try to gather the courage to share my writing with someone. That's the spirit, Lisa. Lastly, let me suggest keeping a journal. It doesn't have to be a formal diary. Just jot down your thoughts, experiences, or even your dreams in English. This practice not only improves your writing, but also serves as a personal record of your language journey. I never thought about keeping a journal in English. That sounds interesting. It's a fantastic way to track your progress and see how far you've come. Plus, it's a great way to reflect on your language learning experience. Now, Lisa, armed with these tips and activities, I believe you'll make significant strides in your English writing skills. Thank you so much, teacher. I feel more motivated to give it another try and explore these new activities. You're very welcome, Lisa. Remember, learning a language is a journey, not a destination. Keep enjoying the process, and you'll see remarkable improvements. If you ever have more questions or need guidance, don't hesitate to reach out. I will, teacher. Thanks again for your support and advice. My pleasure, Lisa. Best of luck on your English language journey. Now, let's look forward to your creative writing adventures and continued progress. Absolutely, teacher. I'm ready for the challenge. If you also want it, please like the video and comment. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend.